Hi, out here today, we're gonna be doing some yards on the air. Yoda is what we call it around here. Out here camped in the yard, we're gonna experiment with uh, our dipole antennas. And I've also got a spider beam that I'm gonna have a wire attached to. We're gonna run it up this tree and uh, experiment with that today too and see how we can do. If we got time, we'll do some speaker wire experiments as well. So let's go get her done. Okay, so I don't know if this will work or not, but I got the mast spider beam just leaning up against the tree and the wire going all the way to the top. The wind's out of the south, so it should keep it leaning into the tree today. And then I just got the wire going into the camper and I'll go to my tuner. So we'll see if this works. Okay, so here's the setup in the camper inside. Got the tuner, got the wire coming out the back, ground going out. I'm going to be using the tuner as my switcher between my long wire and the uh, ham sticks. And I'm on uh, 40 meters right now. And let's listen see if we can hit, whoops, hear ourselves on Vermont SDR. Okay, we got a, uh, got a 2S level. I'm going to send 10 watts. Here it goes. Okay, that's 10 watts over the vertical. It's kind of wavering in and out, up, pushing up to an S5 from an S3. Okay, now let's switch over to the ham sticks and see what we get there. Okay, so we're at the ham stick dipole now, so let's send 10 watts. Just pushing over S3, peaking just over S3. Dying off a little there, coming back up. The band's a little up and down, but definitely the vertical had more, uh, more signal going out to Vermont. Kilo Z, this is November 1, November Uniform. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo. Kilowatt Zero, Kilowatt Lima Bravo. This is November 1, November Uniform. Uh, uh, you are a 57 in Oklahoma City. 57 uh, Oklahoma City. QSL, you are also 5757 five, Iowa. Thank you and 73. All right, Roger. Thank you for another one from Iowa. November 1, November uniform, QRZ. Okay, so now we're going to do a test of 10 watts on 20 meters. Looking out to Vermont. Okay, we're looking at about an S2 noise level. And here goes 10 watts on the wire antenna. That's fine. Okay, so now we'll transmit 10 watts, 20 meters on the ham stick. There we go, now. It's running a little over S5 on the hamstick, so it's, the hamstick actually is doing a little better. Right at S5 on the hamstick. Okay, very interesting. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima, Bravo. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima, Bravo, you are 5-9, the air. QSL, the 5-9, you're about a 4-4, Iowa, QSL. QSL, thank you for the contact, 7-3. 73, thank you for the contact. From Kilowatt 0, Kilowatt Lima, Bravo. From Kilowatt 72, Victor Tango Mike, 73. Well, all in all, we had a pretty good day today. We learned a few things. Um, I really like that spider beam. It's a quick 
30 second hoist that old wire in the air, lean it up against the tree and we're good to go. Um, that was pretty convenient. Um, so, and like I said, we learned a few things on against the wire and the, uh, the dipole, the hamstick dipoles. So all in all, I think the end fed wire outperformed the hamsticks or if did just as well, if not better. Um, uh, I think next we're going to try the speaker wire and do a dipole speaker wire up on the hand, up on the spider beam. So that'll be next. Okay, so that's it for our Yards on the Air Yoda today, and uh, she's napping too and having a good old time. Wore her out all this radio work, so anyway, catch you next time. See you later.